Take take the pictures wet, right? <laughs> Everything looks better wet. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, Jeep family, my name is Neil with SFJ4x4.com, and I'm back to you with another Marketplace review. We're going to do a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and we're going to try and condense it down a little bit more, see if you find that as entertaining as the other ones. Hey, 93% of you are not subscribers. You're watching, you're enjoying it, but you're not subscribing. So make sure you, you click that link right now and... Uh, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the little notification bell so that you can follow along and be part of all the awesome Jeep content, uh, Jeep and off-road and automotive enthusiast content all together. All right, if this is your first time joining us, here's the deal. Our production team has put together several marketplace listings with Jeeps for sale. I am obsessed with buying, selling, and market analytics. This is a crazy market that we live in, and it's super fun to see what people are buying and selling right now. Some people are getting great deals. Some people are absolutely getting taken to the cleaners. That's a big thing for us. We want to make sure that you're buying a good quality vehicle. This is just something for fun that we've done to make sure that you're getting a good quality vehicle or that you're getting the best bang for your buck when you list your project for sale. All right. We're going to jump right into it, and oh, this is going to be a good one. You guys know how I have an affinity for our full-size Jeeps. 1981 Jeep Grand Wagoneer, $12,340. In general, I hear that most of these Jeeps are going to be a little bit older, highly modified. We'll see what that means. 1981 Jeep Grand Wagoneer SUV. Thinking about selling has a LS 5.3 with overdrive. New tires, wheels, lift kit, very little rust. Runs, drives, great. Looking for offers, we'll get some underhood picks and INT, an interior. All right, well, hey, I'm intrigued. And all right, I'm not going to lie. This is in Simpsonville, Kentucky. Hey, that's kind of cool. I might have to I might have to visit there someday. That's wild. Uh, five three LS. If you're not familiar, that is the uh, the GM power plant uh, took over for the small block Chevy. Man, if this thing's got a good clean running five three in there, you could drive this as a daily driven rig. Let's see what kind of pictures we got because this this is this is cute, but like this is wild. Like you're just showing me this field and this this here. Uh, it looks like we got some Falcon Wild Peak tires. I like them. Bumpers complete. Front end looks good, looks solid, but show me. Oh, that's that's sexy. Look at that, all black. It's a fishbowl. I would like it to be tinted. And another artistic shot, but we've cut the roof of the Jeep off. And that's it? That's all you... You told me it has an LS in it. I mean, I understand you said you were going to get some underhood picks, but... Oh... All right, folks. Now, here's the thing. They're all in landscape. Yay. We got nothing from the back. I don't know if it has a hitch. I don't know if it's a tow bar. I don't know if the whole back is caved in. It's got decent looking, you know, body on it. I like that it's all black. I like the, uh, the trim work on it. It's a really cool Jeep. But uh, you, you told me very little about it. And I don't even know how much you, I mean, do you really want 12000 for it? 12340 Because, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's just one, two, three, four, zero. <sighs> was the LS used? Was it, uh, was it rebuilt? Wow. Did it have a million miles on it? I, do you want to sell this Jeep? Oh, man. This, this had so much potential. Oh, I'm struggling. All right. So we're in landscape. We've got three different views. You tell me enough to get me intrigued. I guess if we wanted to play, you know, go back and forth on text messages for the next three hours and me ask a thousand and one questions of you, the seller, I guess we could do that. I mean, I see that it's got good rubber. I see the body's good. Uh, you know, you're out on a dirt road, so I, I believe that it goes down the road, runs, drives, stops. But you told me nothing else. I think you're just testing the waters, and that just... 
that's just that's that's nuts. I mean, is it four wheel drive? Says overdrive. So did you use the GM transmission? What transfer case? All right. I'm gonna have to give you. I mean, it's this hurts me. This straight hurts because this could have been just a wicked sell your Jeep real quick type of job. I'm gonna have to give this a, a uh, two point one six four. Ah. Uh, out of five, if you're just watching, these are out of five star rating. This is a two point uh, one six four uh, because man, I, I almost want to. I almost want to rank it lower simply because I got so excited, and now like I'm like I've been crushed. Like somebody, like I was a kid, and you stole the lollipop out of my mouth. I was so. All right, I'm moving on because I just I can't. I can't with that. I'm like a I'm like a teenage girl. I just I can't. Okay, hey, I love red. Um, 1978 Jeep Wrangler. Nope. Nope. It's a CJ of some capacity. Uh, Wranglers don't come out until 87. That's fine. Honest mistake. Those things happen. Quote, Facebook made me do it. Unquote. Um, and we're in portrait, not landscape. You know how that irritates me. We've left all this real estate on the table, but it's a clean looking Jeep from the front. Uh, I can tell you, you know, it's got some shackle modification here, right? That's not factory. And uh, let's see what this says. 1978 CJ5, 12K OBO. The odometer reads 45K, but not original owner. So assuming it's rolled over, that means that uh, it's gone around the sun twice. The o six-cylinder with manual transmission. All right, so... As a Jeep expert uh, or self-proclaimed such, that is a 258 with some speed manual transmission. Uh, but I would have loved for you to tell me it was a three-speed, a four-speed. Um, you know, maybe somebody put a five-speed in there. And some, I don't know unless you tell me. New two-and-a-half-inch lift. What, what brand? New BlackRock 977B wheels. Okay. New 33, 12, 5, 15 General Grabber ATX. Love them. New radiator and hoses, new engine and tranny mounts, new brake light switches, switches, there's only, there's typically only one, new master cylinder, new retractable lap belts, new front and rear brakes, new steering column. I would love to know so many more deets about those things, like what brand, do you have receipts, did you install them or did a shop install them, are they a pro install? Uh, the Jeep is perfect for cruising around town in the summer and road ready. Comes with bikini top installed, extra set of soft doors, back seat and seat belts not installed, and center console not installed, and parts to add windshield wipers back on. The tub is original and has some personality. Has some personality. <laughs> That's funny. It has well, it's a Jeep. It's a Jeep body. It has personality. Okay, asking 12k or best offer. Also, would be willing to do a partial trade on a nice golf cart. Five to six thousand dollar value plus cash. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, this is a person who bought a Jeep who really wanted a golf cart for their gated community, and it's got no windshield wipers for twelve thousand dollars. All right, so I mean, it's it's it, it's good looking Jeep. You know, I mean, that is when I picture a CJ5, you know, kind of iconic out of the uh, 70s and 80s. That is what I picture. That's that's good. I mean, of that era, you didn't have black wheels, but I'm, I'm a black wheel guy. So that's that's hot. The red and the black. Oh, it's got the eight ball. They got the cue ball shifter. Classic. Wow. Look how. OK, I can't dwell on this one. Got a full roll cage. Look at this. All right, windshield's not bolted on. That's just me. I, I don't know. I like those to be bolted on, but whatever. It's it's a it's an option. Oh, it's rugged ridge uh, seats. Did they tell me it was new seats? You just told me there was new new seat belts. Maybe they don't know they have new seats. From this side, okay. So we saw a couple front sides. Tub has personality. Whatever. Got the inner plate there for the roll bar. You can see the uh, the bolt holes. Hood up. Yep. So take the pictures wet, right? <laughs> Everything looks better wet. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there it is. There's the angle shot. Beautiful CJ5. Tires are, uh, there's been some tire shine on those tires. 
ATXs aren't that old, so it can't be that old. All right, and we're at the end of the picture. So we got a landscape, or we got landscapes, one portrait, whatever. That's okay. That's acceptable. You know what? This is just somebody who's got a really clean CJ5. This is a cool driver. I'd love to see some of the undercarriage shots. I want to see the frame. I want to see, you know, kind of up under it. I want to see into the engine bay, you know, right, like right down in it. Uh, you're you're there, but you're you're cl- you're you're close, but you know, no cigar. That old phrase. I love this steering wheel. This is a great great combo. This thing is all the bones. I I do love it. Do I twelve thousand dollars love it? I. Uh, uh, all right, so I'm going to give you the listing. I'm going to give this listing a – I'm going to – I'm low today. I'm low because there's just not enough info. You got to give me – give me the deets. All right. I, guys, this one's a 2.6. Uh, 2.675. That's, you know, that's pretty good. That's almost a 2.7. So we're at a 2.1 and a 2.67 today. So, I, all right, come on. I hope this next one knocks it out. I hope this next one knocks it out. Ooh, baby, baby. Hey, I. you know what? My first Jeep, personal, uh, private, my first Jeep was a 1987 Jeep Wrangler YJ. What, what? Represent. Here it is. This is not mine. Mine was not that. All right. So, uh, 1987 Jeep Wrangler, $7,800. All right. So, YJ, 5.3 liter with Fitech standalone controller. All right, for those of you, we're back on the GM, uh, you know, V8. Uh, the Fitech is, uh, the Fitech is um, one of the two primary fuel injected um, computer controlled fuel injection systems on the market. So, hey, that's pretty cool. Moto built behind the seat fuel cell, Phoenix dual friction clutch with internal slave cylinder from Speedway. Uh, Chevy C10 shorty headers, SM465, which is a, a gnarly, deep, low gear transmission. Uh, MP205, Dodge Kingpin D60 in the front, uh, which is pretty cool. Probably it's a low pinion D60, but massive. 35 spline outers, 488 gears, drive slugs, aux air locker, aux air compressor, Rubicon Express. SOA, which means for spring over springs and well, spring over uh, that should be spring over axles in the front. Four link suspension with TJ coils and Johnny joints. Trust Sterling 10 and a quarter, 10 half with 488 gears, Yukon Grizzly Locker, 40 inch boggers. Northwest Fab high steer arms, kingpins, spring eliminators, four wheel disc brakes, JB7 front calipers, JB6 rear. Redhead steering gear box drilled and tapped for hydro assist. That's your steering box itself is ready to rock and roll. Um, also have, uh, let's see, half full doors, half hard uppers. Then go with it for more money. A spare frame and a tub for it. Decent shape. Chevy R3 front drive shaft, 1410 double card and rear shaft. Seri- seriously inquiries only. I think it should say serious inquiries only. A lot of time and money invested this is not your daily driver. Not. This is somebody's going to bring this into my shop and be like, "I want to drive this every day." Whoa, this thing's built. This is a builder quality rig. Um, th- I mean, back in the day, there was a, a website called uh, Pirate Four x Four. I mean, this this is a Jeep built off a of pirate. I-, I can't wait to see the pictures because the deets in here. Are, are darn near spe- just spectacular. I really want you to be more specific. Tell me more, more about the engine. How old is it? Uh, what year? 5'3", you know, how many miles? I understand that that is not the end of the world, but I want to know. We've got a gnarly picture up front. We've got uh, you know, a picture of that 10 quarter, 10 and a half. Look at the, the coil springs on the back. Shocks mounted way outboard there. I want to see more of that. No spare tire, so don't get a flat. There's our uh, there's our LS, ready to rock and roll. It's purdy. It, it it is. It's purdy. I guess the Fitech standalone controller. I was talking about the Fitech. Um, obviously, the engine itself is fuel injected, but you have to be able to control it. So that's where the controller comes from. Um, big big movers in the uh, fuel injector world are Fitech and and uh, Holly Sniper. 
Uh, they've been this this thing has played. They were bogging right before he took the pictures. He took a bogging and then he got home and he said, Hey, I should put this on. What's up with the dual steering stabilizers? Like you tell me that it's not a daily driver and then I, I see fresh dual steering stabilizers on it. I mean it it's and they're like hanging down. They're hanging down so that they clear the tie rod that goes I I don't know. We got this high steer up here. It's okay. I bet this doesn't handle bad. Um, there's our, our FI tech. There's our Napa Legend Series battery showing us this wiring. That's, you know, it's okay. It's builder quality. Like I said, this thing's, look at this. Look at the beats. There's their beats. I love it. Got the, uh, got the gauges they imprint there. There's our fuel cell from Moto Bill. This is behind the rear seat, so you still can take, uh, for your for your best friends and show them the show them the the, the night of their life, and uh, and and the fuel cell doesn't take up the space, and you still have that uh, departure angle. You don't need tow hooks. You don't need tow hooks. This Jeep doesn't need tow hooks. Where you're going, you don't need tow hooks. Look at this thing. This thing is like, blah. It would be fine. You don't need those tow hooks there. Uh, just some home fabrication on the axle and whatnot. It's not bad stuff. I dig it. I, I like this thing. All right, let's. I I just this is petty. I get this. I'm a petty Betty when it comes to this. Make this exhaust leave the Jeep. Leave the Jeep. Make it leave the Jeep. I want this to go outside the body. That's just me. I don't want you to suck up fumes. I don't want this to be set down in a mud bog and blub up through the body of the Jeep. Whatever. Hey, this is pretty cool. This is good stuff here. Breather line. We got the the adjusters here. All right. Hey. There it is. Whoop. There it is. Blah. Hey. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Blah. This is, this is getting you all the attention right there. That's why you buy this Jeep. Boom. All right. As far as pictures are concerned, I mean, it's it is what it is. They sell it. I mean, it's not a daily. They're not. They're not. They're not trying to front on you. They're not trying to pretend it's something when it's not. I dig it. This thing is just down and nasty in your face, mud bogging on the weekends, making you the coolest the coolest cat at the off road park. So, <sighs> pictures are decent. Not the best. I lo you didn't even care. You're like. You're buying it for what it is. You're like, I'm not cleaning anything. Your beats are zip tied onto the roll bar or the handlebar there. That's cool stuff. You're just there. You're like, I've got this. I'm selling this thing. You're, you're, you're the price for, for how you're selling it. You're like, hey, you're buying it or you're not. Uh, overall, I'm going to tell you, like, this is a pretty decent listing. It gives me a lot of specifics. It gives me a number of the, uh, the manufacturers. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of hard condensed here. It's not like super, you know, the previous one, uh, that we just saw was like actually like bolted, you know, made it really easy to digest. I dig that, but the pictures on this were pretty good. They gave me some under pictures. Um, you see the limiting straps here. So you don't st stretch it all the way out. I'm going to leave it on that picture. Cause that's just, that's why you're buying this Jeep. All right. Ooh. I'm pretty certain that this is a uh, this is a, a 3.9785 listing. That's pretty darn good for the mood I'm in. That's pretty darn good. Um, and uh, and and really, you know, we had a couple couple of these portrait pics. You didn't use all the, all the real estate. Could have organized this out a little bit better, a little differently. Tell me where the motor's from. How old is it? How many miles has it got? Um, uh, <laughs> You know, when you put this together, why'd you put it together? Give me a little context. Not bad. Pretty good stuff overall. All right. I'm going to arbitrarily tell you what do I think the bang for your buck is. Now, here's the thing. I don't actually have a number on this one. And that, that makes it a little challenging, right? Um, and Because they're looking for offers. And I got to tell you, when you're ready to sell, don't look for offers. I for, <sighs> Tell me what you want for it, right? That's grandpa... Grandpa said, tell me what you want for it, right? He said, put it out there, and you know what you want. You know what you're worth. Tell the rest of the world and, and ask it. So I got to tell you, 
this one's right off the top from the get-go. This is probably my favorite Jeep out of the whole mix today. Even though the fact that it's got the worst listing, this thing looks awesome. I bet the motor runs great. I bet the overdrive is cool. I, I love it. But this doesn't even get to count because you didn't tell me how much you want. And I know that 12340 is not the case. So between the 78 CJ5 for 12K and the YJ Bogger for 78. I got to tell you, your second best bang for your buck is this 78 CJ5. The listing is not bad. It has a lot of decent parts on it. You give me some good pictures. There's the, the bones are there. There's definitely some things leaking under, leaking, lurking under the surface on this one with, you know, silly things like windshield wipers missing and windshield frames not being bolted down and a lack of frame pictures. And the fact that I'm telling you, this person didn't buy this to like, do hardcore Jeep things. They did. They bought this to just be a little in-town cruiser, which is fine. But as a person who wants an in-town cruiser, you want to jump in it and rock and roll. You don't want to spend half your time wrenching for a third of your time uh, cruising. So at 12K, we're a couple thousand bucks over what this should be. But the market's crazy, and it's a beautiful Jeep, so I think you're going to sell it. And the winner, winner, chicken dinner today is going to be the YJ Bogger. You couldn't build this Jeep for 7.8. If you want to be the king of the mud bog, I would try to drink one less ca case of Natty Light tonight and save a couple of those pennies and buy this and just head out to the bog and turn your friends on. All right, folks, if you enjoyed this, make sure you like, subscribe. Again, 93% of you are watching sufficiently to count towards a view on this, but you haven't liked and subscribed our channel. So do it now. What are you waiting for? We want to produce awesome content, automotive, Jeep, off-road for you, our viewers. So make sure you leave us a comment below. Tell us something that you thought was fun. Tell us something you'd like to see different and make sure you like, subscribe and ring the bell. Until then, Jeep family, I am Neil with SFJ4x4.com. Jeep on.